we all love our coffee, but some people actually prefer to limit their caffeine intake. That's where decaf coffee comes in. But is it good or bad for you? Decaf is a short term for decaffeinated coffee. Now, it's the coffee from coffee beans that have had at least 97% of their caffeine removed. So it still does contain trace amounts of caffeine. There are many safe ways to remove caffeine from raw coffee beans, and most of them include water, organic solvents, or carbon dioxide. This process leaves the nutritional value of decaf similar to regular coffee, apart from the caffeine content, of course. So there's no issues with the caffeine removal process itself. But how does the end product compare to the health benefits of regular coffee? Regular coffee is actually the biggest source of antioxidants in the Western diet, more than we get from fruits and vegetables combined. Now, antioxidants are molecules thought to help protect against numerous lifestyle diseases such as type 2 diabetes and heart disease. Decaf usually contains similar amounts of antioxidants to regular coffee. Although some studies have found levels can be up to 50% lower due to losses in the decaffeination process. Despite this potential small drop in antioxidants, numerous studies have found an association between decaf coffee consumption and health benefits. Drinking coffee, both regular and decaf, has been linked with reduced risk of type 2 diabetes. Each daily cup may reduce the risk by up to 7%. The effects of decaf on liver function are not as well studied as regular coffee, but one large observational study linked decaf with reduced liver enzyme levels, which suggests a protective effect. Drinking decaf has also been linked with a small but significant reduction in the risk of premature death, as well as death from stroke or heart disease. Both regular and decaf coffee also seem to have positive effects on age-related mental decline, with human cell studies showing decaf may protect neurons in the brain. Now, this could help prevent the development of neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Where regular coffee has the edge over decaf is all the health effects associated with caffeine, obviously. So things like improved mood, improved energy, metabolic rate, and athletic performance. But otherwise, decaf coffee is definitely a great choice if you are sensitive to caffeine or you have a medical condition that requires you limit your total caffeine intake. It's perfectly safe and carries just about all the health benefits of regular coffee, just without the caffeine side effects. For much more information about decaf coffee and access to the studies used in this video, uh, just follow the link in the description. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and a share. And be sure to subscribe to the Authority Nutrition YouTube channel for more videos like this one.